Alright, welcome back to another video of Davian's phone collection. Today I got not one, but three new cell phones in my collection. That's right. Three new cell phones in my collection. Three of them. And enough by these three I actually got them for free. So in this, so we got the Samsung Epic 4G Touch on Sprint. The LG Rumor Reflex on Sprint. And the LG Optimus Fuel on Sprint. It's going to be freaking epic. Now let's get on to the video. So starting with is the Samsung Epic 4G Touch on Sprint. My first Android phone ever to be on Sprint. Right here. It's a white phone too and it works totally fine with no issues whatsoever. Works totally fine with no issues whatsoever. With no issues whatsoever right here. And it has the touch sensitive buttons right on the bottom here. And um, normally with these sprints, yes, sprint phones. Just had an accidental touch right here on the phone. So as you can see, this phone works totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It works totally fine right here with no issues whatsoever. With no issues whatsoever. This phone looks to be in very good condition as you can see here. Or like minor scuffing right here, right on the phone. And right here, also minor scratches on the glass and anywhere around the device, as you can tell, as you can see. Works totally fine, there's nothing wrong with it. Now as you can see here, it works. It is a slow phone though, but otherwise I'm still keeping it in my collection. Now as you can see, because Sprint discontinued its network, this phone is permanently carrier locked. It's okay because I use it right here as a collection phone. And the game I've downloaded so far is Angry Birds. This is the old version of Angry Birds. Which was the maximum compatible version on the iPhone 2G, my future phone. It has the NASCAR Sprint app right here. And it even has the Google Apps with the current logo in it too. I'm pretty happy to have a flagship phone. Pretty happy to have another flagship phone right here. I did have a Samsung Galaxy S4 and Verizon in my collection, but the AMOLED was broken even though the whole entire phone's in good shape. So I destroyed it and I only had it for a day. Now Morgborg Tech has this phone in his collection, except it's in a case and he've put Cyanogen Mod 10 on it. Go check out Morgborg Tech if you want it. And yet guys of the first phone. The second phone is the LG Rimmer Reflex on Sprint. That works totally fine with no issues whatsoever. There is some delamination right on the left side. Thought there was a screen protector on it, but that was delamination. This phone does have the same software as the LG Rimmer Touch right here, which we will get to in a moment. Right now, let's get onto the phone. And it does have the same startup and shutdown sound as yeah, as the LG Rumor Touch and LG 44G. Now as you can see, this is a capacitive touchscreen phone. Now as you can see, this thing works totally fine with no issues whatsoever.
has a top power button this time. And this phone is in very good condition, as you can see here. Or like minor scratches on the screen. And anywhere around the device, as you can tell, as you can see. It works fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very easier to dial right here. Now as you can see here it works. And also it is carrier locked because Sprint has been discontinued and all of its networks has been shut down and replaced by T-Mobile. But I'm very happy to get this phone because it is one of the next rumors to come out. I'm hoping to get the rumor and rumor 2 soon to add to my collection. And the diff difference here, um, I have the LG Rumor Touch that is turning one year old soon. April Fool's Day is coming up. Last year on April Fool's Day, I did an April Fool's edition of my phone and tablet collection. And I accidentally said Damien's collection of VHS, DVDs, games, and more instead of the channel's name. So here's the difference on these two phones. Same size. The difference is the charging port is on the Rumor Reflex. And the camera is on the Rumor Touch. Looking at the top, it has the strap right on it. And on the Rumor Reflex, it has the power button and headphone jack. Left side... Just the camera key on the Rumor Reflex, and on the Rumor Touch, it has a headphone jack, the power button, and the micro SD card. Bottom, just the door opener on the Rumor Reflex, and the microphone, and this one here has a micro USB connector on the back. Difference right here. Um, curved edges right here, and this earpiece. The logos are switched out right here, and the shape has been redesigned, just the same right here. And the lock screen, and you can now add wallpapers to the lock screen right here, right onto this phone. On the back of these two phones, the logos are not on, the logos are not on this phone here. And it does have a mirror right here. I did a camera test on it, but the video's not up yet. Speakers on this side. And you have to just get the thumb to get the battery out. On the rubber touch, you just had to use your thumb to get the battery pack out, and the memetics on the battery pack is different. And and right here it has a hidden micro SD card slot, right here. This phone is 12 years old, and this phone is now 13 years old. You'll probably see this on Phone Arena. And here are the differences. Right here. The Rumor Reflex does turn right... This slide right here as the... Yeah, the Reflex right here. And the Rumor Touch slides this way. And there's the keyboard differences. And unfortunately, we've lost the Emoji button right here and the Chef button. But the good news is... Well, emoji button not lost. I believe this is the shift. It does have a different feeling to it. This one has a plastic feeling. This one has a metal type feeling to it. And as you can see here. And yet, guys, of the first phone. And last but not least is the LG Optimus Fuel on track phone. This works totally fine even though it has a little bit of bugging in it. No problems with the software and stuff. And finally got another LG phone on track phone. And it has a very cool light right here on the home button. But in my phone and tablet collection, I'm going to say this phone works totally fine with no issues whatsoever. And it does work fine with no issues whatsoever. Just the screen saying an app stops appears. 
Unfortunately for this phone, I cannot sign in the Google account, even though it is on Android 4. On September 27th, 2021, the date I just recently got my Pentec breakout, they've discontinued the ability to sign in to Google accounts right here onto Android phones from 1.0 to 2.3.7. Now on to this phone here, the LG Optimus Fuel does work totally fine with no issues whatsoever. This phone looks to be in very good condition with some minor scratches right on the screen and anywhere around the device. Anywhere around the device, as you can tell, as you can see. Works fine, nothing wrong with it. And it is my very first small Android phone in my collection. It runs Android KitKat. Now, as you can see here, it works. Unfortunately, this is a carrier locked phone, but that's okay. And it has a alternative space to open up the door right here. Let me get it out real quick. Unlike the LG Rumor Reflex, it does have a um, micro SD card slot in it. Unfortunately, there's no SIM card slot. That's okay, but it has the cool track phone logo on the back, which is very cool. Sadly, there is no flash and no front facing camera. Very cool phone to have. Pretty soon, I'm going to put Angry Birds right here onto this phone. This phone does use here. I believe that uses a 4x3 screen. I'm not sure about that. If you guys do know the aspect ratio to the LG Optimus Fuel, tell me in the comments section below. And it does have the same home button type as Samsung phones right here. So now I'm going to show off the Sprint devices. This is my Sprint phones. LG Rumor Touch, Kyocera Duramax, Samsung Epic 4G Touch, LG Rumor Reflex, and that is not a Sprint phone, by the way. No wonder why I put this here. So those are four of my Sprint phones that I've collected. Now let's get out the rest of the LGs. Now here are the five LGs. LG C1300. LG Rumor Touch, LG Rumor Reflex, LG Optimus Fuel, and the LG K31 Rebel. The camera I've used to film my phone and tablet collection videos. But for this video, I am going to be using the TCL A3 right here. Now let's put these two, let's put these three away. Now, before we sign off, I'm going to show you the shutdown animations for the phones right here. The LG, no, not LG, um... Samsung Epic 4G Touch does have the Samsung Galaxy S1 startup shout no sound um yeah, speech been messing up at the in the shutdown sound. You will be hearing the startup and shutdown sounds in my ringtones and sounds video, which will be coming up soon. Let's hear the sound right here. Almost the same shutdown animation as the Carousel Duramax. And now let's go on and do the shutdown animation test. It does have the same low battery sound as the LG K31 Rubble. Now I'll ask it to do me with three new cell phones in my collection. The Samsung Epic 4G Touch on Sprint, 
the LG River Reflex on Sprint, and the LG Optimus Fuel on Track Phone. The LG Optimus Fuel on Track Phone. This is the phone more Borg Tech does have. This phone more Borg does not. This is Davian's Phone Collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you again in my next video.